Welcome to Kinky Knots Cafes. Proactive is the way. Proactive is the way is a podcast brought to you by two sisters who dove into the health and wellness industry. One planned and the other by fate. We have joined forces to bring to you authentic conversations about our personal experiences as it relates to managing our health, working within the industry, and taking our combined knowledge to share with you some pearls of wisdom that you can take with you to live the best version of you. Over the next year, we will host two episodes a month. And each month, we will focus on a topic that is designed to increase an awareness of tools and resources to enhance an aspect of your mind, body, and spirit. This month, we will be all in our feelings (laughs) and those of others as we discuss emotional intelligence. So let's kick things off by reviewing our learning checklist. Today, we will discuss the difference between our intelligence, also known as IQ, versus our emotional intelligence, also known as EQ. We'll dive into defining emotional intelligence and discussing some of the core competencies or skills in which we need to be aware of to help in improving our EQ. Next, we'll wrap things up with discussing the emotional intelligence survey. All right. So let's get started. So when you think about what is required to make you successful, what are some of the key things that folks need to find success? Most people would say education, experience, knowledge, and possessing a high IQ. Well, in the book, Emotional Intelligence 2.0, in the foreword, Patrick Lencioni, author of The Five Dysfunctions of a Team and the president of the Table Group, said that it is not education, not experience, It's not knowledge or intellectual horsepower. None of these serve as an adequate predictor as to why one person succeeds and another doesn't. This is something else going on that we tend to ignore, and that is emotional intelligence. When emotional intelligence first appeared in 1995, it served as the missing link in a peculiar finding. People with the highest levels of intelligence only outperformed those with average intelligence just 20% of the time. While people with Average intelligence outperformed those with high intelligence, get this, 70% of the time. So, so why is that? Why did this phenomenon occur? This anomaly threw a massive wrench into what many people had always assumed was the sole source of success. Your IQ. Subsequent years of research show that there are other variables that explain success above and beyond one's IQ, and the findings now point to 
emotional intelligence as the critical factor. Jack Welsh, chairman of GE stated, a leader's intelligence has to have a strong emotional component. One has to have high levels of self-awareness, maturity, and self-control. One must be able to withstand heat, handle setbacks, and when those lucky moments arise, enjoy success with equal parts of joy and humility. No doubt, emotional intelligence is more rare than book smarts. But my experience says it is actually more important in the making of a leader. You just can't ignore it. So what what makes one person shine over another? And what is the best predictor of job performance? It is the combination of a person's ability to learn who that person is and how one handles themselves and others on the job. So let's define emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence is made up of personal competence skills, which is associated with self-awareness, an awareness of our own emotions and tendencies. And it is associated with self-management, which is the management of ourselves. In addition, emotional intelligence has a focus on social competence skills, which is associated with social awareness, an awareness of the emotions in other people. And this skill allows us to influence others, build and deepen relationships more effectively, which is also known as relationship management. Now the author states whether we are aware of them or not, emotions surface in everything we do, we think and say each day. Awareness of our own emotions and tendencies open doors for us to make better decisions, and respond to challenges productively and proactively. Awareness of the emotions in other people, including unspoken cues, enables us to influence others and build and deepen relationships more effectively. Individuals who increase their emotional intelligence skills tend to increase their ability to communicate effectively, make good decisions, handle conflict, be a team player, respond to change well, handle stress better, and provide top-notch customer service. Perhaps the best thing about emotional intelligence is that it's a highly flexible skill. With practice, you can work to improve a specific emotional intelligence skill within six months to a year. These findings hold true for people in a variety of professions across industries at all levels all over the world. In this series, we are going to talk about how we manage our emotions and learn how to manage them more effectively. Our goal is to make certain that we have the ultimate game plan to harness its power to ensure our success and create win-win situations. So join us next week when we dive into our own examination of our emotional intelligence 
scores. For those who picked up a copy of the ebook or the book, enclosed, you will find a code that will permit you access to a quick survey that will provide you your emotional intelligence score. And it's a short survey, folks. It only takes about 10 minutes to complete. So we will discuss these scores in the next couple of weeks. Uh, we'll discuss how we have managed our emotions in the past and some of the strategies that we found intriguing and plan to put into use some of those strateg strategies to help improve our score. We look forward to you joining us, and in preparation for our discussions, we have included in the description where you can pick up a copy of our featured book, Emotional Intelligence 2.0, by Travis Bradbury and Jean Greaves. To access all replays or learn more about Kinky Knots Cafe's Pro Active is the Way, please visit www.kinkynotscafe.com. Proactive is the way, my friends. Take good care.